Hey, what's up? Mariah here and welcome to part four of this Ice Boxer video series. This video is going to cover healing when using the pro system and it's fairly complex. Hopefully you understand how the pro system works up until this point with the whole combat hotkeys, virtual combat, and uh, all of that other virtualization class key map mumbo jumbo because healing for the most part is set up the exact same way. Now, before getting started, I need to mention that while the pro system itself is universal, this method of healing is not. This pro healing system relies on the layout of your unit frames to be the same order between the character that you're playing from and the character that is healing. If you don't have control of this in the game that you're playing, then this method will not work for you, and you're more than welcome to try out some of the other healing methods available with IS Boxer. There will be a section of links in the description for those, so feel free to check that out. So here's my profile, and I've gone ahead and removed some of my other class key maps from the prior videos to help cut down on clutter in this one. So we're just focusing on the paladin and the priest. I've also created two new key maps, healing and virtual healing, both of which have been added to my character set. And if we take a look at these two new key maps, we can see that I've already created a few mapped keys for them as well. The mapped keys in these key maps interact with each other in the same exact manner as the mapped keys in both combat hotkeys and virtual combat do. So the left click mapped key in healing is being told to execute a mapped key called left click in virtual healing. If you watched the first video of this series, then this should all sound very familiar. Now there are a few special things that I've set up specifically for the mapped keys in this key map. First, I've got this sync cursor action set up here, and this does exactly what it sounds like. It's going to sync my mouse cursor when I execute this mapped key, and you'll see this in action later on. Second, the target of both of these actions is set to use an action target group, which contains the character that I want to receive this command. In this case, it's just my priest healer, but this is necessary in order for this system to work. It's also important to note that the sync cursor action is set to others in, of this ATG, and the do maps key action is set to all of. And the reason for this is that if we're playing from the healer, then we don't need to sync their cursor, plain and simple. And finally, each of these mapped keys is set to execute when pressed or released. Some games don't require this, but some do. So I'm going to demonstrate it with it set up this way. Now you've probably noticed that all of the names of these maps keys are tied to buttons on the mouse, and that's because pro healing is generally synonymous with click healing. So we're not going to be setting up any hotkeys in this key map, and if you're wondering how we're actually going to be using these, well, we are going to be tying them to a click bar. But let me not get too far ahead of myself just yet. So if you remember how the pro system is laid out for DPS rotations, it's combat hotkeys, virtual combat, and then character level assignments and virtualization. Right, so I'm going to move over to my priest and set her up for healing. Now she's already assigned to her class key maps, which is good, but she needs some additional virtualization to be set up. So I'll add another entry to this. I'll pick virtual healing this time, and then I'm going to choose the same class key map that she's already assigned to above. Now after character level assignments comes the class key map. And if we look at the class key map, it's obviously missing the mapped keys for healing. The easy way to fix this is to just copy the mapped keys out of virtual healing and then paste them into the class key map. I'm copying the mapped keys from virtual healing for the same reason I used virtual combat in the first video to create my class key maps. And that's because there are no actions assigned to any of these mapped keys, which makes it easy to just start adding in my own stuff after they're copied over. So now that they've been pasted in, I would like to add a separator here. This is Certainly not necessary, but I like to do it because it makes it a bit easier to see where the DPS section ends and where the healing section begins. All right, so before moving forward, let's take a quick look at the overview of this setup so far. You can see that the healing setup is laid out exactly the same way that the base pro system is. It's broken down into those same four sections and they even overlap near the end. But the healing setup is going to have the added click bar so that we can actually use the healing abilities because we're not setting up any hotkeys. So before setting up any class abilities, let me first show how the click bar is set up. I've already created the click bar based on the size I needed it to be in game for this demonstration, and I've positioned it accordingly. I've also assigned three different actions to this click bar, one for left click, one for right click, and one for shift left click, just to show that modifiers do work with this. These actions are then assigned to the mapped keys with the same name in the healing key map, which then kicks off the chain of events. 
So what this means is that when I left click on this click bar, it's going to execute the left click mapped key in the healing key map, which in turn executes the left click mapped key in virtual healing. But as we've learned up to this point, virtual healing is being virtualized at the character level to be my class key map. And that left click mapped key in my class key map gets executed instead. Got it? Great. So now I can show what I've got set up for the class key map, which will allow me to heal. I'm going to be showing three different ways to go about healing. They're all very similar as well as very unexciting to watch, but each method is broken up into each of these three mapped keys. So the first method is shown here in the left click mapped key, and it's a basic two-step process, which requires that the healer's abilities be bound to an in-game key binding of some sort. You can see that in step one, I'm sending mouse one, which means I'm sending the left mouse button. This is going to target the unit frame, which is underneath my healer's mouse cursor. And in step two, I'm sending the two key via a do mapped key action, but this can also be done using a basic keystroke action. So when I press my left mouse button, she's going to acquire the target. And when I release the mouse button, she's going to receive the two key, which will fire off the healing spell on her action bar. So let's see how this looks in action. First, I press the mouse button and she picks up the target and you notice the cursor sync in her window and releasing the mouse button sends two, which uses the healing spell on her action bar, which heals the target. And that's all there is to that. So the second method, which is in the right click mapped key has two steps, just like the prior, but the first step is empty. Now this is a bit technical, but I'm using a blank step in order to allow the cursor enough time to sync before sending what I want to send. Like I said before, some games require this to be a two-step process so that there is enough time, generally one frame, between when the cursor sinks and when the action is sent. I realize that there probably aren't a lot of people who care why it's set up like this, but for those that do, there's your explanation why. Now this method relies on the capability to use the mouse over conditional in a macro. This means that the game you're playing has to first have the ability to create macros, and second, have access to a mouse over command or conditional within them. Games like World of Warcraft, Rift, or even Final Fantasy XIV are some games that have this mouse over conditional available to use in their macro system. So all I'm doing in this mapped key is sending the three key, which is bound to an in-game macro on my healer's action bar. It's a healing macro, which uses the mouse over conditional. And as you can see, it's very basic. So when I right click on the click bar, the cursor sinks and she heals her mouse over target all in one smooth press and release of the right mouse button. Now, the third mapped key, which is shift left click, is currently a for Warcraft players only solution since it does use a macro created in IS Boxer's game helper section. Beyond that, there's nothing out of the ordinary about this specific mapped key when compared to the last example, but like I said before, I did want to show that modifiers and mouse clicks can be used together and it works just like the others. As I said before, healing is pretty unexciting to watch when there's nothing else going on, but I obviously wanted to demonstrate these in action. Feel free to check out the IS Boxer profile for yourself. If something isn't clear up to this point, it will be linked in the description. But right now, it's time to kick it up a notch. So I've gone back into both my healing and virtual healing key maps, and I've added in some extra stuff because both of my characters possess the ability to heal. I've copied my original mapped keys and created two different groups, Healing 1 and Healing 2, and let me break this down with a full overview in hopes that it might make a little bit more sense. So the Healing 1 set has a target of Healing 1, which is an action target group that contains my priest. And the Healing 2 set has a target of Healing 2, which is an action target group that contains my paladin. Then at the character level, the priest is set up the exact same way as before, and the Paladin is set up in a very similar manner. As for the class key maps, well, since my Priest is only attached to the Healing 1 set, she only needs those mapped keys to be included in her class key map. Likewise, the Paladin is only attached to the Healing 2 set, so I've only included those mapped keys in his class key map. And then there are the click bars. All I've done with these is make a copy of the existing click bar I had before, repositioned it so that it wasn't overlapping the first, and then I assigned each click bar to a different set of mapped keys so that one click bar fires off the healing one set and the other fires off the healing two set. 
And this is the full breakdown of my dual click bar setup. So here it is in action, and it's the exact same concept as before, except now there are two unique click bars tied to two different characters. The click bars don't have to be tied to healing spells, and you can see that my paladin has a buff that he can throw out to other party members. Now, if I had more healers in my group, I could just continue to create click bars and add in characters to further expand upon healing or other buffs. And I could even share click bars between characters if I wanted to. So technically at this point, I'm done showing off how the pro system can be tied into healing, but there is still one part of this left to cover. If any of this was confusing up to this point and you'd like to take a closer look at the pro files or the exploded view breakdowns, then you can find those in the video description. As I mentioned before, this method is not as universal as some of the other healing methods that are available because it does require that your unit frames be in the same order between characters. And again, you can find links in the video description for some other methods of healing when using Iceboxer if this one doesn't work for you. So, moving right along. Now, something which tends to be popular amongst players who use their mouse to heal is the use of the mouse wheel. The problem is, is that people generally use the mouse wheel to bind their own abilities on whichever character they're playing from. That and the added fact that click bars don't seem to react to anything except for clicks. Or do they? Well, technically they don't, but I'm sure some of you keen-eyed individuals saw this option near the bottom called mouse over. What this does is allow you to execute a mapped key on enter and or on exit of the click bar area. What this essentially means is that you can activate a set of mapped keys when entering the click bar area and then deactivate them when you exit. So first what I've done is I've added three more mapped keys into my healing one key map. Mouse wheel down, middle mouse button, and toggle mouse over. Now since we can't add any actions to a click bar besides left and right clicks, we have to have another way to execute these two new mapped keys which I want to use for healing. And that means that they do need a hotkey. However, I don't want to set any mouse bound hotkeys in this key map. And I'm sure you're asking, well, why the f not? And I'll show you, okay? I'll just, just calm down, I'll show you. So I've done exactly what I've said not to do. And I've set up some mouse bound hotkeys for my healing mapped keys in the healing one key map. And you can see those over there on the left. I've bound left click, right click, and mouse wheel down. And these are the same mapped keys which are tied to my priest for healing. So now when I left or right click to move my camera around, I can't because those buttons are being used as a hotkey in IS Boxer. However, if I left or right click over my unit frames, the priest will cast her heals as expected. The same goes for mouse wheel down. You can see I've got a spell on my action bar bound to mouse wheel down and I can't use it. You'll just have to take my word for this one, but you can see that the priest's cursor is syncing to my own cursor as I use the scroll wheel. However, Again, when I'm over the unit frames, the priest will cast the spell tied to mouse wheel down. Well, that's nice, but the rest of my setup kind of sucks at this point, don't you think? I mean, I've lost the most basic controls on my mouse because I wanted to use the buttons on it for healing. The problem is, is that they're in a key map which is normally on when the rest of my key maps are enabled, and this affects everywhere on the screen. What we want is for these mapped keys to only affect the area of the click bar. This issue is easily resolved with left and right clicks because the click bar can use those buttons as specific actions, but using the other mouse buttons is not as straightforward. So now that we all understand why we don't set mouse buttons as hotkeys in this key map, we can get back to business. And that's where this toggle mouse over mapped key comes into play. It's a two-stepped mapped key which first activates another key map, and then in step two, deactivates it. And the important part of this mapped key is that it's set to execute when pressed or released. I'll explain why this is important in a moment. If we take a look at that special mouse over key map, we can see that there are two mapped keys with hotkeys, one for mouse wheel down and the other for middle mouse button. So in here is where the hotkeys get set. What makes this different is that this key map isn't attached to anything, not my character set or my characters. Therefore, it affects nothing. That is, until we turn it on via the toggle mouse over mapped key. Now, I would like to point out that the mouse wheel down mapped key is not set to execute when pressed or released like everything else has been up to this point. Mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down don't have a pressed or a released action like a normal button does, and you end up getting both of those actions in a single movement of the scroll wheel. So in order to maintain a two-step process for this, it needs to be set to either just pressed 
or just released. With that said, I'm going to assign the toggle mouse over mapped key to the mouse over section of my click bar, export my settings, and show how this works in game. So now if I want to use my mouse for its normal everyday purpose, like moving the camera around, I'm able to do that outside of the click bar. But once I bring my mouse cursor within the borders of the click bar, that mouse over key map becomes active, as you can see in the debug window in the upper right, and my mouse buttons now react differently, allowing me to use them for healing. And of course, after moving my mouse cursor back outside of the click bar, my mouse buttons return to normal once again. This is possible because the toggle mouse over mapped key has two steps and is set to execute unpressed or released. And anytime you enter a click bar, it executes the pressed action, so to speak. And when you exit the click bar, it executes the released portion of it. Well, hopefully that made perfect sense because that's all there is to know about setting up additional mouse buttons to use for mouse over healing when using a click bar. As I mentioned before, if any of this was confusing, there are several different versions of Iceboxer profiles linked in the description of this video. Feel free to download them and pull them apart so that you can get a closer look at the configurations used throughout and hopefully give you a better idea on how you want to go about setting up things for yourself. In the next video, I'll be showing how everything up to this point can be applied to a team of characters, as well as showing off some of the other perks that the pro system brings with it. And for any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the ISBoxer forum or the live chat.